Here, I'll give this to Duncan so you can put it somewhere in the video because I'm sure he'll want to. Or here's your other favorite one, Duncan. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs>Tristan Universe here and welcome to another unboxing video. I have this mysterious box right here, but before I uh, I dig into this box, I just want to explain as to why I'm on the floor. I don't know if you can tell that I'm on the floor, but I'm sitting on the floor right now because Ariana and I just moved to a new apartment and we're getting everything set up still. So I don't really have my, uh, my recording background set up, so I'm, uh, I'm just on the floor in front of... Uh, this. I guess this works as a recording background though. This is our couch right here. So so that's nice. With our beautiful um our beautiful display pillows. What are they called? Display pillows? Is that what they are? Nice. Our beautiful anime display pillows. Hello, welcome to our Weeaboo house. This is our Weeaboo house tour. Anyway, uh this new thing this new mysterious thing I have to unbox, I'm very excited about, because it is the new game in my favorite series, which is, as I've mentioned multiple times, the Hyper Dimension Neptunia series. I have a whole shrine that's off camera, right over there, dedicated to it. Um, also, Iffy's right here, so, you know. Uh, and I'm really excited, so, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this game is called Super Neptunia RPG. And it's the first Neptunia game to be made by a production company, a Western production company. I think that's the right way to word it. So, that's, uh, that's cool. It's from Canada. had this box for like two days and I've wanted to do this video so I could see all of the things that are in the box. So I'm really excited to do this and um, now we're gonna get into the box. Uh, there's this weird outside box as you can see, which I think, uh, I could be wrong, but looking at it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Eastwar's book from the game. I'm gonna open it now. Na 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 Alright, here's what it looks like. There's the, the limited edition box right here, and then this, which you pull out, and it has some things in it. Um, so, what they started doing, I'm gonna pull this out first. The game. And, uh, I guess, um, what they started doing is packaging the actual game outside of uh, outside of the limited edition box, um, yeah, that's kind of weird. It could be because I know one of the things that this comes with, which I'll explain a little bit later, um, but I know that they've done it with another limited edition too, so it's interesting that they're choosing to do it that way, so I don't know. Anyway, so the first thing you pull out is the game, uh, which is great. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I got the Nintendo Switch version, and the reason I chose to get the Switch version, even though I like to collect all of the trophies, and even though it's not going to match all of the rest of game, uh, all of the rest of the games on my shelf, for some reason Sony has decided to start censoring their games, and I don't like that. Um, so there are two images in this game that were censored for the PS4 version. And while it's only two images and their censorship is very minor, I was still like, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just don't feel like, I don't know. Sony's never, Sony's always been the one where you can like release anything on their systems and everything's always fine. But now they're like, we need to be family friendly. So we're just going to censor all these games or something. So I was like, well, okay. I'm also pretty sure that one of the one of the images that's censored is a picture of my favorite character, and I was like, I'm not about that. So nonetheless, I got it for the Switch. And on top of that, the Switch is uh, portable, so I can play it handheld when I'm out doing things. So I was like, you know, yeah. Alright, on to the next thing that's in this box. We get 
a very derpy <laughs> Ariana. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get a very derpy Pudingo plushie. I'm gonna take it out of the thing. Oh, it's, it's, oh, there's paper. It's like that weird, uh, like, the inside of it's like the beads. So it's like, it, it has a weird, I don't know what kind of, um, Ariana, what kind of fabric is this? I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, it's a, it's just a little pudding go plushy. And it's soft and squishy, so. <laughs> Why are I'm you so, laughing? I'm so sorry. In one of the shots, you just squeezed it and its face just <laughs> stretched out. Alright, so the next thing that comes in this limited edition is a pack of playing cards. So it's the Super Neptunia RPG playing card thing. So in all of the cards, um, or all of the cards are uh, pictures of the different characters um, and stuff. And I think that they look really nice. I'll probably film a little thing about them for Duncan to overlay here. What I've seen of these cards so far is they are really cute, and I really like the art style of this game. Um, so, yeah. So wow, we had three things before even pulling out the limited edition box. I don't know why they're choosing to package everything like this, but it is what it is, I suppose. So here we go. Here is the box itself. It shows the, the main four, and uh two of the other characters on it. Um, my wife, looking as beautiful as ever. It's a Super Neptunia RPG on the side, both sides, and on the back there's a little Puddingo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Puddingo? I'm not sure. Um, yes. So, now I'm gonna open this. I can't believe half of the video already has not even been the actual limited edition box. Although I'm not really complaining because I like that they did it this way because they put a plushie in there so um, naturally it's bigger because with the the Mega Dimension Neptunia uh, V2R, so the, the re-release of V2, um, they it came with a plushie, it came with Netgear Dam, um, and it ended up making the box really big because they tried to fit the plushie in it and it was already like, a, I don't know, like a medium sized plushie or whatever. That's probably not, I don't know. It's it's big enough, um, so they tried to fit it in the box, so therefore the box is really big. It's like this big, width-wise, um, so I don't know. I didn't really like that very much because it's hard to display it on my shelf properly. Alright, so on the side it has little, uh, little, little, um, drawings of all the characters. There's my wife. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that this shows is the, ooh, that flash, is this, which is the metal case for the game. This looks really nice. It's real shiny, which I'm sure you can tell by the consistent flashing at the camera. Yeah, that's cool. They, uh, I feel like, uh, Idea Factory started releasing limited editions with, with metal cases recently. Um, I think the, one of the more recent ones that they did also had a metal case, so that's, like, something new that they're trying. On the back, there's all of, like, the I don't know, the villains, and then this other chick <laughs> who's not a villain, I don't think. And I don't know who this is. Uh, it just looks normal on the inside. But that's cool that they uh, they started doing that. Um, I don't really know how I feel. I don't, yeah, I don't know how I feel about metal cases, because now I just have two cases for the same game. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. I don't know. There's a siren. There's a siren outside, so we're gonna wait till that passes and I'm gonna fix my hood. This is the city life for you. It's true. So after that, taking this out. The next thing that we get, I feel like the rest of this is just gonna be standard limited edition stuff, so the next thing we get is the official soundtrack. So the normal thing you get in a limited edition, a soundtrack. Yeah, nothing particularly special about it, as far as I can see. Just a, it's a nice jewel case, 
So I like when limited editions come with jewel cases rather than just like paper sleeves. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then the last thing that I would imagine would be in this is the art book, naturally. Of course, it always comes with a, uh, if I can get it out of here, it always comes with a an art book. This one's hardbound, so that's cool. It actually has a lot of pages, it's kind of thick. Um, oh, good, I just opened the only page that matters. Nice! <laughs> the only one that matters. Character descriptions and like different like expressions and stuff, which is cool. And then it has like your standard, uh, oh, what are these called? Uh, Background art. I hate you. It's right there, isn't it? It says on the book. Take that all out, Duncan. You make me look like an idiot. Uh, then it has a bunch of pages of like background art, like um, like they normally do. Oh, that's cool. It has in the back of it. It has animator notes um, for a bunch of the different characters, um, which gives you uh, like amount of movement. It breaks down each of the characters' um, designs into like the amount of movement each, like each piece of their, their clothing and their body and their hair. That's actually really cool. I haven't seen anything like that in a limited edition before. And then at the back, it has like page illustrations and sketches and stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> that's all that came in it. Okay, so that's pretty much, uh, pretty much what's in it. That's, that's what came in this limited edition. Um, I think it's worth it. Uh, I like when they do, like, plushies and stuff, and then I also really like this, um, this hard case, just because it gives one more, one more piece to, honestly, I'm probably just going to display this. Like, I'll probably just put this one on my, on my, um, on my shrine, uh, just because it looks really cool. I like split it like this and just like lay it in the background or something. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with this. this. Is the moral of the story, I suppose. I don't really know how to end this. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm pleased with the unboxing, like I probably said a bunch of times already. Uh, and I'm or I'm pleased with like the limited edition itself. I am always excited when I can get a new Neptunia game, um, and I'm excited to play the game. And that's probably what I'm going to do for the next couple of days, is just play the game um, and get through it. I love this series. The series is great. And uh, So anyway, uh, since I'm done with everything, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does a lot for me, and I really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe. As per usual, if you're not already subscribed, and click the notification bell, because uh, if you do that, then you'll always know when I'm posting new videos. So once again, thank you all so, so, so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which I don't know what that's going to be, but I'll see you there. Goodbye. No, Annie, you have to stop the Ow. camera. <laughs> what are you doing? Watch. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>